What's up guys, it's Sick Designs, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to create smooth slow motion in Adobe After Effects. Uh, so with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so the first thing you're going to, going to want to do is, is record a clip of something that you want to slow down. So obviously that can be anything you would like, but make sure you have a clip first. Um, if you have the ability to record in 60 frames per second, I would definitely recommend that you do that. Um, it'll definitely help your video look a lot better in the end. All right, so with that said, uh, let's go ahead and jump on into this. And uh, once we've uh, got our clip imported, uh, you can do that by going to File, Import, Import File, and then go to your uh, file wherever you saved it, your clip or whatever. And it'll come up right here. You'll see it right here. Click and drag it into your comp, and you'll be right where I'm at. And so basically, if we go ahead and play this real fast, you can see uh, that's the clip that we have. Um, that's what we're going to be twixtering or slowing down basically. Uh, right now, uh, this is playing back. Uh, I recorded this in 60 frames per second. This is playing back at 30, so uh, it's in slow motion. But if I change this frame rate to 59.94, uh, we should be good. And it's playing back a little bit slow because of the um, just the program. But, uh, anyways, let's go up to composition. Let's go to composition settings. Um, Make sure your frame rate's set to what you recorded this in. So if it was 60 frames per second, it's probably going to be more specifically 59.94. Or if it's 30 frames per second, it's probably 29.97. Just input your frame rate here. Um, and I think we're good there. What we're going to do is um, we're going to go here, make sure our clip is selected. Let's go to... Uh, I'm pretty new to Adobe After Effects. I haven't worked with this a whole lot, so bear with me. Um, we're going to go to Time, and we're going to Enable Time Remapping. And basically, this will allow us to drag our clip out longer so that we can twixter it and slow it down. So we'll go to about 20 seconds, call it good. And now we're going to click this option here that enables frame blending. Uh, so this will allow us to get some smoother slow motion here. And uh, basically, we have that set up. We can go ahead and uh, start uh, adding the plugin Twixter. I will put a link in the description for you guys to download this in case you don't already have it. And uh, yeah, so with Twixter selected, uh, we're going to go to our plugins, effects, and presets. We're going to uh, select Twixter, and we're just going to click and drag it right on top of our video there. And uh, okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is the input frame rate. Since I recorded this in uh, 60 frames per second, I'm going to type in 59.94. Okay, but if you did this in 30, then you want to do 29.97. I'm going to change motion sensitivity to 100, and uh, we're pretty much that's pretty much all we have to do right now. Now, I only have the demo version, so I have a watermark that uh, appears uh, that's going to flash. But if you get the serial you actually get the registered version that shouldn't happen so um, what we're gonna do now is uh, now that we have Twixter in here down in our composition settings uh, you're gonna see that we have the effects um, option here we're gonna click on the down arrow go to Twixter and go to output control right here and right here we can mess with the speed so uh, for example we're going to go ahead and start slowing this down. So I'm just going to click this little stopwatch here to create a keyframe. And let's say, uh, let's go about right here. Let's create another keyframe so that it knows between this keyframe and this keyframe, it knows to stay at 100%. So full speed, basically. And then right here. We'll put in a keyframe, and we can adjust these later in case we need to maneuver them. Put in a keyframe at five, so you can see it kind of changed a little bit. Twixter takes over right here, so if we go ahead and RAM preview, preview this real fast, uh, we can take a look at what we have so far. This is going to play back kind of jerky until it, uh, um, it actually pre-renders, basically, I guess you'd call it. Um, we'll take a look at it. So you can see that's what we have. We got really, really smooth slow motion. Actually, didn't have to do a whole lot of settings in Twixter. Now you will see that we have some um, warping, which is pretty much near to impossible unless you have a camera 
uh, near to impossible to avoid unless you have a camera that can record at 120, 120 frames per second or better. And uh, the only, personally, the only consumer camera I know that can do that, and I believe is a GoPro Hero 3, can record at 120 frames per second. So, all right, so that's what we have, guys. Right there, that's the effect that we have so far. So you can see it's twixtering. Uh, we do have some minor warping down here around the legs and the feet, uh, which there's really no possible way to get around this unless you can record at 120 frames per second or better. Most consumer cameras don't give you that ability. So... But that's basically the effect we've already got it as you can see there so right here we will go ahead and we will click here go back to 100 percent automatically create creates a keyframe and um so if we go ahead and play this real quick it goes to slow motion and then we'll have it speed up right about right about there okay let's go ahead and put another keyframe we'll drop this down to five percent automatically creates a keyframe now once again we're gonna have to adjust these a little bit all right you kinda just have to play with this guys let's do it. go ahead and do a quick preview render And so that's basically how you can uh, how you twixter. You can see that really really smooth slow motion that we're getting here in the video. So let's play this again. And then right here we can go ahead and speed it up again. Uh, that's basically it, guys. Um, that is how you twixter. Um, it's really not too hard. You can change that value to whatever you want. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. Obviously didn't take my time with this. Um, um, but that's how it's done. That's really all you need to know to create some smooth slow motion. Now what I'm going to do is I also have a couple little, uh, effects and effect plugins called magic bolt looks and, uh, video copilots, optical flares. Um, so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead, um, I'm just going to put a vignette around this, color correct this a little bit. I'm going to go to misfire vignette. I'm going to drag that onto the video. See, we've got a nice vignette around our video. And we can adjust the size of this vignette, make it bigger, make it smaller. I'm going to bring this down to about 30. And uh, let's drop the intensity a little bit. All right, that's about good. And then what we'll do is we'll go to Magic Bolt Looks. If you guys don't have this, I'd recommend you guys get it. Um, it's pretty nice. You can add in all kinds of uh, preset color correction um, options, but you can also edit them if you choose. So I'm going to drag Magic Bolt Looks on there, and then I'm just going to press Edit. And uh, now I'm going to take a shot, and we're just going to drag in... Um, just going to color correct it. So that's basically it. Um, now the intensity, I need to drop the intensity on this vignette a little bit. And uh, that shadow is pretty intense. So what I'm going to do, let's go back into here. Let's just adjust some of these curves. So We lighten those shadows up a little bit because they were a little bit harsh. All right, that's about good. It's good enough. All right. Um, let's bring the intensity back up here on the vignette. All right, that's pretty good. I think I like that. So there's our color correction. Let's go back to Video Copilot. Um, let's add an optical flare. Always adds a nice little touch to your video. You'll see this come up. Uh, change the over original options here. Let's go to options. Uh, let's go to pro presets. And uh, let's just choose a flare. Something I haven't done yet. So let's try. Let's try this one. We'll just click on this one. Press OK. And we have the option to drag this 
wherever we would like. Um, doesn't have to be anywhere particular. Uh, we have the option to scale up the brightness. Uh, we can also animate this. I definitely recommend, guys, if you uh, don't have this, uh, you should definitely get it for After Effects. It will do a lot to your videos and uh, it just adds a neat effect. So um, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and preview render this real quick. And so there is our uh, what we have so far. So you can see it gets really, really slow. And then it slowly speeds back up as soon as I get out of the frame. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. And uh, I'm actually going to pause the recording right now. I'll come back. I'll let this preview render. This will take a minute. And I'll come back and we'll go ahead and take a look at what the final uh, clip looks like. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at this. Um, so that's basically the final effect we got going on there. Um, so that's pretty much it. Once you get uh, your clip in there, you're finished with it, um, where you want it to end, we'll just go right there, uh, for example. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit, Split Layer, and get rid of this one right here. So that we just have this bit. Let's go back into our composition settings. And this is about four seconds long, so we'll, we'll leave this at about four seconds as the duration. So four, zero, zero, press OK. Use that a little bit. All right, and uh, there's the final effect. And that's basically what we created. So uh, pretty simple. We also have the option... I didn't mention, but uh, we can change the color of the flare if we wanted to, uh, to any color we want, really. You can make it red, um, you know, whatever. But uh, <laughs> that's pretty harsh. I kind of like the the blue a lot better. So, uh, Anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, that's how it's done. That's how I made that video. Um, I'll probably be using this plugin some more in the future to try to create some cool videos. Um, I hope this helped you out. Uh, I didn't go real in depth, but um, I hope uh, you learned enough that you kind of understand how I did this and maybe know how to do it yourself now. Um, if it did help you out, please leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that as well. Um, and yeah, I think that'll cover it for this tutorial. I will see you guys later. Peace out.